Hi and welcome to Outwell. Here I'm going to talk you through the features of our Wolf Lake 7 from our classic collection. You can see here that the Wolf Lake 7 is a large tunnel design tent which is aimed to sleep up to seven people. With it being in our classic collection you'll find that we are using for the fly sheet our Outex AirTech material. Now this is a technical cotton and what you'll find is that it's a 65% cotton and 35% polyester mix. So the advantages of this is that it's very very long lasting and um, it's also very good at reacting to the type of envir environment that it's in whereby if it's a very hot day it will keep you nice and cool inside and vice versa as well uh, and you'll also find that it's naturally waterproof although we do put a finish on here to ensure that water will bead off of the fabric itself. The, uh, the frame that we're using on the tent is, uh, is made up of alloy poles uh, so this ensures that it reduces the overall weight of the tent certainly makes sure that you still have a good solid structure You'll also find that uh, we colour code uh, the poles to the sleeves to ensure that you're going to get the right pole in the right place, obviously making sure that pitching is as simple as can be. The pole sleeves themselves are all flat pole sleeves, so you'll see here that you have a real sleek and streamlined finish to the tent. Uh, other features that you'll find on the outside here, we have our innovative Outwell wind stabiliser system here. So what this does is by using these Velcro tabs here, we wrap them around the poles at the top and at the bottom of every single pole and what that does is it really increases the overall stability of the tent making sure that even in the highest winds you're going to have a good solid structure. You'll also find that we're using our uh, floating guy line system on the tent so you can see here that uh, the guy lines actually look like they're floating because we have the black guy lines at the top and then we have our classic luminous guy line towards the bottom ensuring that you shouldn't be tripping over them. You'll find that all the guy lines have their own guy line retainer so that when it comes to packing down the tent we can just wrap the guy lines up and pop them in here so that the next time you come to uh, pitch the tent they're not all tangled up together. You'll also find that uh, on this uh, Wheel Flake 7 we are using our easy pegging system so this is where we provide you with three different types of peg with the tent. You see here we have our solid steel pegs which are used for the anchor points we have the black plastic pegs for all of the black pegging points around the side of the tent and we have our luminous plastic pegs for all of our luminous guy lines so certainly making sure that you get the right peg in the right place. Other features that you'll find on the tent you can see that we have some ventilation panels down the side uh, there is more around the back of the tent as well um, and under here there is then a mesh uh, panel just allowing cool fresh air into the tent keeping you nice and comfortable. One thing you'll notice on the outside of the tent here is that we have very large windows and what you'll find is each one of the windows is actually tinted. So we have a black tint on here and what that does is serves two key functions. One, to reflect the sun away from the inside of the tent, hopefully keeping it a little bit more comfortable. But two, obviously you're going to get much, much better privacy within the tent as well. So around the front of the tent you'll find that we have the mud valances here and that just encourages any water that runs down the tent to come away from the inside. Also on the front you'll find that we have our storm guy lines ensuring that the whole front of the tent is as stable as possible. Uh, this tent actually has quite a unique open front here and what that does is creates almost uh, like an extension feel within the tent that certainly gives you a large area that you can sit and relax in uh, which is completely under shelter. Uh, also certainly plenty of space for furniture and storage and things like this and you'll find that there are two drying rails in this area one on either side which is going to be ideal for things that you can see here. When you uh, step back into the tent itself you can see that the living area is separated by this large wall which again has large windows on here which are still tinted and obviously this door can be completely zipped closed uh, fully all around. You just see that the zip is actually attached to the ground sheet here so that when like I say you close it you get um, a full closing on the door. The ground sheet itself um, is a Tarpaulin PVC coated ground sheet, so it's really, really heavy duty, and it has a minimum hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimeters. The ground sheet itself actually zips in on all uh, sides just to ensure that when you pack down the tent, you're going to keep your fly sheet nice and dry, uh, and also obviously it reduces the overall pack size as well. When we step back into the main living area of the tent, one thing that's very apparent is just how much space there is. Uh, you can see above my head here, there's plenty of room, and I'm around a 1 uh, meter 95, so as I say, plenty of space in here. Uh, also, that's accentuated, as I mentioned, by these large windows that we have all the way around the tent. And what you'll find is that each of the windows has its own curtain, which can be obviously fully rolled away. 
or as we have here, it can be uh, Velcroed halfway up or obviously fully closed as well. Now there are two other entrances in the uh, tent. So we have one on either side and you'll see that we have large mesh uh, panels on here so you can open up the doors on the outside and allow for lots of ventilation. And we also have ventilation panels here which correspond to the outside ventilation that we showed you earlier on. Another nice feature here is that we have our lantern hanging point in a central location in the tent there. And what we have then is cable tidies which run down from the lantern hanging point down to where the ground sheet zips in, allowing you to run electrics into the tent without having the cables through the doors. So just inside the main living area, you will also find that the Wheel Flake 7 comes with this uh, built-in wardrobe here. What you'll find is in the wardrobe itself, we have a mesh uh, hanging storage system at the top, and there is also a hanging rail in here as well. Towards the back of the tent is where you'll find the bedrooms, and as I mentioned earlier on, this tent will sleep up to seven people. The configuration of the bedroom is split into three different ones. Um, with our universal bedroom note, what you can do is open up each of the dividers to create one large bedroom, or obviously you can choose how that works. What you can see across the top is that we have our uh, wave shape hanging point system here. What that does is take any stress points away from the seam at the top of the bedrooms and obviously gives it a real nice finish as well. What you will find is that we're using our universal bedrooms here. So what that means is if you want to, we can simply just get rid of one of the bedrooms completely if we untoggled all the way around the front and the back and take the zips that are in the middle here we will be able to drop that bedroom down completely uh, leaving yourself two bedrooms and even more living space in here. Some other features in the bedroom you'll find inside that we have some low light windows we also have some storage pockets within there as well and then right at the back you'll see a large ventilation panel which again corresponds to outside ventilation panels on the tent. You'll also find that we have some mesh storage pockets on the outside as well as the ones that we just pointed out on the inside and as I mentioned each bedroom has a full zip sheet which separates it from the next one along but as I said these can be fully opened up as well. Another feature on the bedrooms is that every single door has a mesh panel which can be zipped open or zipped closed just to get excellent ventilation but keep the bugs out as well. So optional extras for this tent include uh, a carpet for the living area, just giving you that little bit more comfort. There's also a footprint available uh, for under the tent. And also we have an awning conversion kit for the front area of the tent, allowing you to transform this open area into a fully sealed area with a ground sheet. So that's all the features of our Wolf Lake 7. Thanks very much for watching.